Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to actually talk to you about skincare and what I actually use and what my current favorites are. And my morning routine would be to wash my face with the Estee Lauder um, Gelee and it actually has these um, small beads in them and I use my Foreo sort of cleanser and it actually, it actually vibrates. You can hear it, right? So it's pretty cool because it literally, you know, use some of this with water all over my face and just like, you know, in circular movements, just like clean my entire face out. And then I just basically go straight onto a moisturizer. And one that I love at the moment so much is the um, La Roche Posay um, Effaclat. Effaclar Duo, I don't know, even know what they will mean. But the great thing is this new one, it actually has SPF 30 in them. Um, and I think, you know, sun protection is so, so, so important. I will write a blog about why. Um, but I've been wearing sun um, SPF in either my makeup or my moisturizer for the past 10 years. And I think that's avoided a lot of blackheads and, um, you know, a lot of skin damage that you can get. Uh, from it as well so this is this is really really great if you do love your moisturizer however but you do it doesn't actually have a um you know SVF in it uh, another really really cool one is from helio care so this is great because um this is actually spf 50 and it's perfect for somebody with um oily skin um because it's oil free so it's, it's just like really lightweight and it's just like um just like a gel so it's really easy the same company they do mousses and they do just like different types of products so um definitely look in, into them as well now one of the other reasons i use the perfectly clean by the way, which I should have said at the beginning, is that um, I actually have oily skin. It's just at the moment it's being really weird because I, I'm starting to get mature skin. I'm in my early 30s now, so it's kind of like I need to look out for my wrinkles. I need to look out for some of the dry patches that I'm getting. Um, so this one works fine for me. You can use them twice a day, but I like to just use it once a day. So I'll either choose to use it in the mornings or I'll use it in the evening because it's um, it's like a scrub. It's got obviously the little beads in them. It almost acts like an exfoliant. So I think it's not very good for your skin to exfoliate it all the time, especially twice a day. So I would say, you know, once, um, once a day would be uh, would be fine um, and the I've tried so many eye creams honestly I have and uh, I have this big thing about not wanting to get wrinkles sooner than I should um, and one that I really found is by Dr. Dennis Gross and um, it, you can get them in Sephora I don't know whether you can get them anywhere else I, I, I bought this in Sephora while I was out there and um, absolutely love this because you want I mean this one is great because it's almost like a triple correction eye serum so it removes puffiness it kind of hides the dark circles a little bit because it brightens it, um, it up and it moisturizes your um, you know your um, eyelids sort of thing so you can use it at the bottom and at the top and I use it morning and night and I absolutely love this I know it's a little bit on the pricier side but I think when it comes to um, eye creams, it, it is worth investing in it. This one's more like a very, very um, light gel, so it feels so cool and really nice on the on the skin. I'm not a huge fan of creams, and sometimes they give me spots. So this one's this one's really, really, really good. So I would just now apply my makeup and leave the house. That's pretty much it. night routine so you come home from work or wherever and you've got all this makeup on and stuff one that's really great um because i tend to use waterproof mascara at the bottom because of my semi-permanent lashes is um the nivea dual action um or double effect uh, makeup remover and it's great because it's an oil makeup remover so i tend to use oil makeup removers around my eye the thing is um, I know with semi-permanent eyelashes, you're not supposed to use any oil products. Um, so if I do have actual eye makeup on at the top rather than at the bottom, because I use this to get rid of my waterproof liner at the bottom, and like some of the um, uh, long wear, you know, lipsticks or whatever, I just tend to use this and it just takes it off immediately. So this one's, this one's great. Um, the other one, which I swear by and I have been using for the last three years, I think, is, um, as you can see, I've got a massive bottle because I go through them like anything, is um, 
don't even have micellar water, I think. Um, and I like this one because it's for sensitive skin. So the one with the pink is for sensitive skin. And this one on a cotton bud. Um, I like those double-sided cotton buds. They're like pads, uh, cotton pads. They're really great. And you could just literally wipe off all of your makeup. And even eye makeup uh, at the top, like cotton buds, or even with the pad, you can literally remove it. And it will not mess up your semi-permanent lashes. Um, however, if you don't have semi-permanent lashes and you just want something that's very quick and easy to move, anything that's oil-based is great. And I would say um, Garnier um, is by far one of my favorites when it comes to actual makeup remover. Now, okay, you've removed all of your makeup, but you still feel a little bit like, I'm one of those people, I just can't go to sleep having just used um, you know, wipes or makeup remover, like I need to literally wash it. So one that's really great, um, it's something that a few of my friends have uh, introduced me to recently, they talked to me about cleansing balms. Now, because I have an oily skin, I just thought, well, I don't think cleansing balms are gonna work, but actually it's, it's amazing. So the Estee Lauder one that I use, um, it's a micro cleansing balm and um, you don't need loads. So it's just like, it literally looks like a balm. So it's like, you know, really thick, feels very wax like. Um, you use a very small amount on wet skin uh, and just like massage it all in. You can use a cloth to remove it all. Um, or actually just massage it in and just like wash it off. The reason I do that is because like I said, even though I have oily skin and even though I have large pores, my skin's been getting a little bit dry. It, it could be the weather at the moment. It could be the fact that I'm aging. I don't know, but um, I'm, I'm without wiping it off with a cloth, I'm actually just like massaging it in and then just like washing it all off and the skin just feels really, really nice. And I, and I know it's taken off all of the makeup everywhere and it, it just feels great. Um, if, you, if you're not huge on uh, cleansing balms, you can use the gelée that I use in the morning um, as well. Um, again, remember, try and not use it maybe twice a day. Like if you want, use another face wash. Um, the Estee Lauder does other face washes as well, or any other face wash that you're quite happy with because you've done the job of removing the makeup. So that's the main thing. So whatever the face wash you use that you're comfortable with, doesn't actually matter at this point. I like cleansing balms just because they feel great on the skin and because it has that texture, it really just takes all of it. It's almost like, you know, when you're polishing like a wooden table with like an, a, a creamy polish, it really just cleans and polishes. Can't believe I compared my skin to wood, but you know what I mean, like, because now my skin's clean, what do I do? How am I gonna look after it? whilst I'm sleeping. Um, one that I've recently um, discovered is um, Sunday Riley and I like this uh, UFO. It's called Ultra Clarifying Face Oil and the reason I like this, again, I used to just think what? Um, but it actually has this um, salicylic, 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 don't know, acid in there that actually does help and um, you know I'll write, I'll put all the links of all of these products in my description box anyway and I'll explain a little bit about this but um, uh, I, what I do is just like you know it's just like drops, it, it is a little bit on the pricey side but it will last you a really really, really long time so um, literally just like you know as you can see it's like just drops so what I do is I put a drop there, drop there, drop there, nose and over here and then close it and just like massage it into the skin and what it does it actually disappears in your skin straight away so it won't actually leave your skin feeling oily and this is great for people with oily skin and large pores so just like massage it into my skin once i feel like my my face is very dry again um i this is the point where i would use uh, a night moisturizer or a serum or anything else a lot of the times, which I have done recently, I don't tend to wear anything. If I do, then it's very, it has to be very, very lightweight. So um, this is my absolute favorite at the moment. So Toucher, and it's the water cream, and it literally feels like water, like almost like a water gel. And it's like, it's beautiful, and it's, it's really, really good for uh, pores, large pores, and sort of um, anti-aging. So it's, it's amazing, and I, you know, I would definitely invest in these products. I mean, they're, they're Japanese, and they know what they're talking about. So this is what I use in the evening. La Roche-Posay does a few, um, you know, serums as well that you can use, like a night serum for um, aging or for sensitive skin, and they do use 
um, you know, hy like hydra um, hydration serums and you know specific serums for moisture, you know, moisture and stuff. So I'm big on serums and anything that's really really lightweight, especially in the evening. Uh, however, what you can also do is just like use the the you know Effaclad Duo. Um, maybe not the SPF. You don't need the SPF while you're going to sleep, but they do one without the SPF, so you could actually use that during the night as well. So that's a, a really good one that you could use um, in the night. And you know the eye cream that I use during the day as well, the Dr. Gross one. I use a, a you know just a tiny little pump and just like spread it out around there, and whatever's still left on my finger, I use it sort of at the you know top lid. And so the the Sunday Riley oil I would use two to three times a week. Um, and then once a week or maybe twice a week depending on how my skin feels I actually use a glycolic acid now I think a lot of people are very scared of glycolic acids it's almost like exfoliating but instead of scrubbing your face and just like distressing it um, you're just using acid to kind of get rid of like any roughness on the skin and just like to make it smoother I've tried so many glycolic acids that have given me bad rashes, they've given me, um, you know, really, really bad breakouts and it's been horrible. I've had such bad experiences, but then the problem is whenever my skin's healed, I just think, okay, what do I do now? Because my skin's quite rough, the makeup's not sitting really, really well, and I just don't really know what to do. Um, so I follow a few beauty bloggers who were going on about this. So this one's called the Alpha H. Um, it's liquid gold with glycolic acid, but the glycolic acid from here is actually from sugarcane. So it's uh, derived from natural um, sources. And you know, this is just sort of like literally, it's liquid, completely liquid. And what you do with this is just use a very small amount on a cotton pad and then just sort of almost like you, as if you're using a toner, just like clean the areas that you feel are very, very rough. I'm quite sensitive on my cheeks. So where I actually use it is um, on my nose because this area gets really rough, um, my forehead and I sometimes on the chin as well but that's only if I feel like I can see this little, little tiny bumps, you know, just like clogged pores. So this is great and I only use it once or twice. So like, be very, like don't be generous with this, like be very careful with how much product you use. I just think with acid, I mean, this is just probably me freaking out here but it's just like with acid, having had all those bad experiences, I just think, you know, you do not want to have burning sensation on your on your skin. And I know um, a lot of people have messaged me even saying that they've had really bad experiences with glycolic acid, which I have too. So that's why I think this is great for like um, making your skin feel super, super, super soft. So only use it once or twice a week. If you feel like, hey, it's amazing on you and you can, your skin's quite tough, like it can, it's not as sensitive, then you can use it more often. And I think some people just use this every day, um, just like a small amount. And um, so if you were gonna use this, obviously you just wait for it to all disappear, whatever, and just like use your moisturizer as well. Um, you know, whatever night moisturizer that you wanna use. So you wouldn't do this and this together. Like, you know, it's just one or the other. So it's almost like maybe alternate days, like do this one day, this another day, you know, that sort of thing. And last but not least, one of my favorite products also that I've recently discovered is also from La Roche-Posay. And it's called, it's also from the Effaclar range. See the whole Effaclar range that I have, um, they are for um, acne prone skin. So they're for oily, acne prone, clogged pores, any sort of scarring. And this has actually helped me with scarring because I have the tiniest little scar and it will take me nearly six months for it to disappear. Since I've been using this, it's just been amazing. And another one that I really like is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. That one's great for scarring as well. So, you know, th these are great, like the, the Effaclar range. So this one's the AI. It's just like a small tub and it's, it's for spots. So, the night before, if you felt like, oh, you can see a bump, or you've just like, you know, picked a spot, or um, you can see that there's going to be a spot and it's like raised slightly, just use like a very, very small amount of this on there and just like leave it. And I promise you the next day, your spot's gone. Like as in, you know, it won't, it definitely won't be getting worse for sure. So far it's always worked for me. So whenever I've used this, um, it's been amazing. So um, I would definitely say, Yes, and out of all of these, the La Roche Posay, very, very affordable, and I would say, you know, look into them, depending on your skin type. So like I said, mine is um, oily, 
I'm, I'm acne prone skin so and I have larger pores so all these products have worked for me and I've battled with my skin for so many years and I feel like all these products that I've just told you about have all been new products that I've used um, I've only been starting to use like all the La Roche-Posay or the, the Sunday Riley te you know like about a month ago and I've already seen a huge change in my skin so I don't know if you can see That's all folks, um, I hope this was very very useful, I will do a hair care video so make sure you subscribe and please give this a thumbs up and share this video and leave your feedback, I'd love to hear your opinions on these products and how they've worked for you and also if you have any other suggestions for people with oily skin. I'm sure there are going to be people watching this video who have um, you know, dry skin or combination or whatever. If any of you, I'm not a beautician so it's really really hard for me to suggest products for people um, since I've not trained in it. I'm just a makeup artist so um, I've just shared what I use on my skin so you know whoever has oily skin can try these products out. Um, but yeah it would be great if you guys can just like let me know um, what you think of all these products. Thanks! <laughs>